Good today. Heaven gates are not so highly arched as princes' palaces. They that enter there must go upon their knees. Come, violent death. Serve for Mandragora to make me sleep. Go. Tell my brothers when I am laid out. Then they may feed in quiet. Where's the waiting woman? Fetch her. Some other. Strangle the children. Look, you. There sleeps your mistress. Oh, you're damned perpetually for this. Thy turn is next. Is not so ordered? Yes. And I'm glad you're so well prepared for it. You are deceived, sir. I'm not prepared for it. I will not die. I will first come to my answer and know how I have offended. Come, dispatch her. You kept her counsel, now you shall keep ours. I will not die. I must not. I'm contracted to a young gentleman. Here's your wedding ring. Oh, let me but speak with the Duke. I'll discover treason to his person. Nay, throttle her. If you kill me now, I'm damned. I've not been a confession this two years. When? Your credit saved! Ah. Bear her into the next room. Let this lie still. Is she dead? She is what you'd have her. But here, begin your pity. Alas, how are these offended? The death of young wolves is never to be pitied. Fix your eye here! Constantly. Do you not weep? Other sins only speak. Murder shrieks out. The element of water moistens the earth, but blood flies upwards and bedews the heavens. Cover her face. Mine eyes dazzle. She died young. I think not so. Her infelicity seemed to have years too many. She and I were twins. And had I died this instant, I would have lived her life to a minute. Let me see her face again. Why didst thou not pity her? What an excellent, honest man mightst thou have been, hadst thou borne her away to some sanctuary, or bold in a good cause opposed thyself between her innocence and my revenge. I bade thee, when I was distracted of my wits, go kill my dearest friend, and thou hast done it. Let me quicken your memory, for I perceive you are falling into ingratitude. I challenge the reward due to my service. I'll tell thee what I'll give thee. No. I'll give thee a pardon for this murder. <laughs> yes. And tis the largest bounty I can study to do thee. By what authority didst thou execute this bloody sentence? By yours. Mine? As I had judged. Did any ceremonial form of law doom her to not being? Did a complete jury deliver her conviction up in the court? Where shalt thou find this sentence registered? Unless in hell. See, like a bloody fool, thou hast forfeited thy life, and thou shalt die for it. The office of justice is perverted quite when one thief hangs another. Who shall dare to reveal this? Oh, I'll tell thee. The wolf shall find her grave and scrape it up, not to devour the corpse, 
but to discover the horrid murder. You nor I shall quake for it. Leave me. I will first receive my pension. You are a villain. When your ingratitude is judge, I am so. Get thee into some unknown part of the world that I may never see thee. Let me know wherefore I should be thus neglected, sir. I served your tyranny and rather strove to satisfy yourself than all the world. And though I loathe the evil, yet I loved you that did counsel it, and rather sought to appear a true servant than an honest man. I'll go hunt the butcher by owl. is a deed of darkness. Off my painted horror. While with vain hopes our faculties we tire, we seem to sweat in ice and freeze in fire. What would I do with this to do again? I would not change my peace of conscience for all the wealth of Europe. She stirs in his life. Will return, fair soul, from darkness and lead mine out of this sensible hour. in it seems to hope that late was shut to take me up to mercy and um, yes madam he is living the dead bodies you saw were but feigned statues he's reconciled to your brother the pope has wrought the atonement Oh, sacred innocence, I sweetly sleeps on turtle's feathers, while a guilty conscience is a black register wherein is writ all our good deeds and bad. A perspective that shows us hell. Now, Doctor, may I see Prince Ferdinand? What's his disease? A very pestilent disease, my lord, they call lycanthropia. What's that? I shall need a dictionary to it. I'll tell you. In those that are possessed with it, there all flows such melancholy humour, they imagine themselves to be transformed into wolves, steal forth to churchyards in the dead of night, and dig dead bodies up. As two nights since, one met the Duke about midnight in a lane behind St. Mark's Church, with the leg of a man upon his shoulder. And he howled fearfully, said he was a wolf, only the difference was a wolf's skin was hairy on the outside, his on the inside. Bade them take their swords, rip up his flesh and try. Straight I was sent for, and having ministered to him, found his grace very well recovered. I'm glad on Yet with, not without some fear of a relapse. They'll give me leave, I'll buffet his madness out of him. Stand aside, he comes. Leave me. Why doth your lordship love this solitary house? Eagles commonly fly alone. They are doors, crows, and starlings flock together. Look. What's that follows me? Nothing, my lord. It is your shadow. Let it not haunt me. Impossible. If you move, then the sunshine. I will stop. My lord, you are angry 
with nothing. 